Have you ever considered the power of words? The ability they possess to inspire, to incite, to ignite. Welcome to a journey into the realm of Fontaine's second surface message. In the grand tapestry of human existence, we often find ourselves in situations where we are made to feel insignificant. Tossed aside like discarded remnants of society, we are bombarded with messages that serve to belittle us, feeding our disgust and outrage. The feeling of being overlooked, undervalued is a potent one, and it simmers within us, fueling our journey towards maturity. Enter the world of commercialism, where the rich and powerful paint their narratives with strokes of yellow ribbons and sensational tales. Their stories, displayed in the hallowed halls of prestigious institutions, act as a mirror, reflecting a distorted image of reality. But what happens when this mirror shatters? When frustration boils over, the disenfranchised rise, their voices echoing with the promise of rebellion. The threat of destruction looms, casting a long shadow over the institutions that once stood unchallenged. The fire of revolt kindles, ready to consume everything in its path. The abyss of the mind, once a silent observer, now roars to life, the count of its bones lost amidst the chaos. The promise of ruin, of dragging everything down into the grave, becomes a rallying cry. Fear is discarded, replaced with a resolute determination to make a difference. The message is clear. People are not objects. The sensational propaganda is seen for what it is, a tool for manipulation. The call for surrender rings out, a final warning before the storm. The world watches, caught in the crossfire of this ideological war. The lines between reality and fiction blur, and the judgment of society is questioned. The call to action is fierce, and the world is set aflame with the resolve of the undervalued. In the end, the narrative of Fontaine's second surface message is a stark reminder of the power of words. It's a testament to the strength of the human spirit, of the will to rise against oppression. It's a story of rebellion and the fire that fuels it. Remember, we are not objects but people, people with voices, with stories. And when those stories burn, they light up the world.